And in entertainment today, so talented, so young, and so rich. Scott Thompson. And Kevin McDonald. Kevin McDonald from the Kids in the Hall. Mr. Scott Thompson, famous from Kids in the Hall, of course. And the benefits of laughter. They don't even know the capital of their country, but they can call a limo. Uh, so how's the tour been going so far? Oh, great. Very, very well. Yeah. We couldn't be more pleased. Of course, when my father did die, I realized I would never, ever get the chance to... Well, kill him. <laughs> if Jesus came back in Canada and he couldn't skate, we'd reject him. Get back on the ice, you loser. If we are your little fist bump. Uh, what were the biggest hurdles for uh, the beginning of the tour? Oh, no, I, I, I hurdleless. <laughs> hurdleless. This is our hurdleless you know, tour. That, the biggest hurdle was there were no hurdles. We almost go the tour of Hurdleless, 2011. <laughs> you know what? You know what's amazing. I don't know. I think you'll probably agree with me. I do. Is that I the other already. kids in the hall have been so supportive? So supportive. What are they doing? They're touring together. The two of them are touring. What? Kevin and Scott are touring, but why? What are they doing? The X Factor? <sighs> you know, and remember in the old days with the kids in the hall. Oh yeah. We used to fight all the time. Oh my gosh. Remember the fights? Oh, they were ugly, 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 ugly. ugly. And I think the thing was, it was the five of us. But once we got rid of the other three, not rid of, not permanently anyway. No, <laughs> but once there's just the two of us, there's no fighting. As a group, we didn't really fight that much. It was mostly Kevin and Scott uh, fought constantly. Scott's uh, histrionic, uh, narcissistic, really kind of a grown-up baby. Kevin, I don't think he could write a joke to save his life. I mean, what is he doing out there? Doing this stand-up comedy tour with Scott Thompson, I'm discovering that new audiences seem to be obsessed with jokes. <laughs> you seem to constantly crave for jokes. When I was a teenage boy, I lived in the Philippines for a year. And while I was there, I learned about how the world really worked. But mostly, that dog tastes a lot like cat. <laughs> I mean, the audiences are amazing. City after I mean, city we get, I mean, get along so well. We really do. Yeah, they fight. <laughs> we disagree all the time, all the time. I don't think we've had an agreement. I know I do not want to hear yelling. Good, I, just want, voice for the I show. just want you to do some actual comedy. I wish I was more like you. I wish I was a bitter old queen with cancer. You. <laughs> I think that's the show that's gonna hit your town soon. If you're going to go to the shows, that's what you are going to see. You're going to see two guys uh, just acting out a uh, a really petty, immature squabble uh, on stage. As I, as near as I can understand it, that's the premise for the show. Well, I guess we can roll the dates. They'll be in Green Bay at one point, I'm sure, and they're probably playing large, large cities: New York, Athens. Not Athens, Georgia, but Athens, Greece. 